confusing right James Harden had an incredible career for the Houston Rockets he ended up with 18,365 points 4,796 assists 3,736 rebounds an MVP three scoring titles eight-time all-star and six-time all-nba first team think about that six-time all-nba first team James Harden is a member of the Houston Rockets he played eight years with them and he was a top five, at least maybe a top three player for a majority of those years. I mean, he was finishing one or two in MVP every year. It's just consistency was crazy. And then the playoffs came and I thought James Harden had some, he had some, I, I didn't, I don't think I know he had some bad playoff series, man. Like the Spurs one. Uh, I mean, I don't know whether or not he had a concussion or obviously he was on the ball and they had no other ball handler. That's why they went out and get Chris Paul. But, I mean, just to see some tweets, like, I mean, Rocket fans just, not Rocket fans, some Rocket fans, bro, dickhead Rocket fans, because obviously Rocket fans are great, but there's some dickhead Rocket fans. Uh, no disrespect, man, I'm not trying to cause any, stir up anything, you know what I'm saying, but like, bro, like, let's start off with, let's start off with Austin Tucker tweet. So, James Harden is and will always be a loser who cost this franchise three years of rebuilding because of the way he acts when things don't go his way. I mean, the reason why James Harden axed for a Russell Westbrook trade was because Chris Paul was either always injured or simply just didn't show up. I mean, the Rockets had to move Chris Paul and he was seen as an immovable contract at the time. So how is Harden the loser when if Chris Paul had just stayed healthy or played better basketball, the Rockets would have won a championship. If, J if Chris Paul doesn't get injured in game five, the Rockets win that, that year. If in 2019, if Chris Paul doesn't play bad or at least plays like Chris Paul should be playing, a guy that's making 40 million, the Rockets, they would have won that series. I mean, to put it in perspective, let's take a look at game one of the 2019 playoffs. So Chris Paul in game one scores 17 points, has four assists and three rebounds. James Harden scores 35 points, six assists and four rebounds. Now James Harden did shoot nine of 28 in this game, four of 16 from three, which isn't good. We all know that, but he still did his. He got 35 from 28 shots. I mean, that's not horrible. Game two, 115, 109 Rockets lost. James Harden, 29 on 9 of 19 shooting, 6 rebounds and 4 assists. Chris Paul, 18 points, 7 rebounds and 6 of 6 on 6 of 14 shooting. So, I mean, Chris Paul, like, this is a guy that everyone's saying should have the ball in his hands over Harden and they would have won. Yet, when he did have the ball in his hands, he wasn't really doing much with it. I mean, this is like 18, 18 and 7 and 6 isn't bad by any means. But for Chris Paul, I mean, it's not going to get it done. And then, obviously, when you take a look at game three of that series so James Harden 41 9 and 6 Chris Paul 14 8 and 7 and then game four game four comes you have James Harden with 38 10 and 4 completely just takes over Chris Paul 13 8 and 5 so you guys can kind of get the gist here and let's take a look at I mean we're not done but let's take a look at game five Harden, 31 8 and 4 10 of 16 from the field Chris Paul 11 6 and 6 on 3 of 14 shooting 0 of 6 from 3 prior to this game Chris Paul had been really efficient But he wasn't taking a lot of shots and he wasn't really doing much with the ball in his hands I mean, it's obvious like James Harden had to go one-on-one -on -one and had to do everything he could because I mean, it's Kevin Durant Curry Clay and Dre against Chris Paul who's not even really playing that well Eric Gordon Capella and like Tucker. I mean it's a decent team. I mean, Capello is in this game alone was six, had six and 14, but he was three of 10 from the field. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Clint Capello was a minus in every single one of these games. I know a lot of people wish that Clint stayed, and I do too, but he, he just, bro, he got exposed by the Warriors in the playoffs, man. Like, he really did. And then game six, the closeout one, no Durant. Chris Paul, 27 points, 11 rebounds, and six assists on uh, 11 of 19 shooting. James Harden, though, it still outplayed him in this game. He had 35, 8, and 5 on 11 of 25, and 6 of 15 from the three. So if you take away his threes, I mean, 
If James Harden, just, this is one thing I don't like about Harden, and is just like he took a lot of threes. I mean, six of fifteen is actually really efficient. I mean, that's not a good example, but like the first game, for example, when when James Harden did shoot four of sixteen from three, if he just stopped taking threes and took a mid range or a layup, like they would have won the game. It's not. It's not just Chris Paul, but the bottom line is, man, I believe this till the day I die. No one will ever convince me otherwise. Trading Chris Paul at the time. I mean, looking back at now, it was an L. But at the time, I mean, going out and getting Russell Westbrook was amazing because Russell Westbrook, he never would have had these types of games. Like you're looking at Russell Westbrook, who he was, he was put balling, bro. Like he was averaging what 25, eight and seven for the Rockets. If, if it wasn't for the injury, we'd have a completely different look on the, on the Chris Paul trade because Russell Westbrook had got a quad injury and COVID. So first of all, he gets COVID, right? He's not able to work out for 10 to 14 days. And then he has a lingering quad injury that just, he he rushed back. Like, Russell Westbrook rushed back against the Thunder in the first round of the bubble playoffs because they needed him. And then the second round, it just, there was no chance. I mean, it wasn't just the injury as well. I thought Mike D'Antoni and the system wasn't good. Like, they had Harden on the ball, but then they had Russ as a spot-up shooter. I mean, they should have had Russ cutting. Like, they should have had James Harden, okay, like, they're going to double-team me and then send Russ, like, in the post. Or not the post, but send him on, like, the free-throw line and then just throw it down. Like, they, there's so many ways that they could have adjusted to a, the Lakers. James Harden does deserve a lot of the blame for what happened. Daryl Morey does, Mike D'Antoni. But the most blame is always going to go to Chris Paul. It's never going to go towards James Harden because James Harden played well. I mean, how are you going to hate on Harden when he was putting up these numbers? Like James Harden was good in every single game against the Warriors. Uh, again, game one, he did shoot nine of 28, but he still had 35, six and four. I mean, that's a bad game for Harden. Harden played incredible in, in those. It, it just came down to Chris Paul, man. He had one good game, and he still was outplayed by Harden and Curry. So I really wish that the Rockets had just ran it back with Russ Harden and Christian Wood because if they had a skilled big man in the bubble and a healthy Russ, I mean, even with, with just a healthy Russ and not a skilled big man, they would have won, I bet you, because remember, game two, they were up. Again, they were up, what, 10 going into the fourth, and then it's just... Bro, the bottom line is, man, James Harden, man, he's never going to have the respect that he should deserve as a as a Houston Rocket. And I understand why, but he's their second best player. I mean, the accolades speak for itself. He did go to two Western Conference Finals, and he had to do this, guys, against the Warriors. Like, every single time Harden lost besides the Spurs or, the, or LeBron and AD was the Warriors. KD or not, it's still Steph and Clay and Draymond Green. That's three Hall of Famers. I mean, Harden didn't have another all-star with him in these years. I mean, Dwight Howard was an all-star once, but Dwight Howard just, bro, he sabotaged Harden. Like, he just, it, it was Dwight Howard, man. Like, he didn't, he had a couple of good games. Uh, I will say, though, if you want to go deep into it, the Portland series, Dwight Howard played well, Harden did not. Harden had some bad series and wish it could have worked out better. But at the end of the day, I mean, James Harden will always be a better player than Chris Paul. He'll always be a better Rocket. And Chris Paul, it's it's on him, dude. He goes to the Thunder in a trade, and all of a sudden, Chris Paul is working hard now, and he's staying healthy, and he's playing better. I mean, where was this in Houston? If he had just brought that to Houston, they would have won. So I, I I don't get it, man. Like, it's crazy, bro. It really is.